Okay, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new mini series I'm gonna be doing on my channel, basically walking you guys through how to use PK Hex to make your gen mons look legitimate, as well as pass Nintendo or Game Freak's hack check. Each of these videos will be assuming that you already have access to a homebrew 3DS because I will not be walking you guys through how to homebrew your 3DS. Because I do not want to be responsible if you guys mess up and break your 3DS. So Joe Door makes a bunch of tutorials on how to access homebrew and uh, I'll leave a few of those videos in the description of this video. These videos are basically meant for educational purposes for my friends who are having trouble ginning their mons. And uh, I know Pokemon ginning is a hot button topic in the community right now. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of hate in the comment section, but uh, I really don't care. Alright guys, welcome back to the part 2 of my PK Hex tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you guys how you gen the legendaries and ultra beasts from Pokemon Sun and Moon. So they are a little bit different because they don't come from eggs. You have to actually know the met location of the whatever legendary you're catching. Um, and you also have to know the mint level of that Pokemon, so we'll get into that. Um, I already have this Necrozma that I've already filled out. Just because most of the steps are the same as in the first video, there are some differences which I will go into. So for the species, you just put whatever legendary or ultra beast you want. Um, for this example, obviously we're using my Necrozma. You can nickname it whatever you want because you did catch it. It's not an event mon. Most event mons are unnameable, unfortunately. So. But uh, Ultra Beasts are actually nicknameable, so um, I set the level to 100. You can set it to basically the level here. It cannot be any lower than the Met level. So Necrozma is met at level 75. So make sure that whatever legendary you're catching, let's just use Necrozma for example. Um, the level here cannot be any lower than 75 because that's what level you meet it at originally. So make sure you don't get that messed up. Um, nature. Again, you can pick whatever nature you want, held item, whatever held item you want. Friendship, you can max it out or leave it at zero or whatever the default is, it doesn't matter. Um, whatever ability, most legendaries only have one ability. There are some cases like Ho that have two. Um, it, I think it gets regenerator as like a hidden ability or something like that. Um, but that is a tale for another video. <laughs> um, language, English, uh, I gave mine the Pokeris. Um, this is where I'm from. You basically saw that in the first episode. Um, so origin game, uh, Necrozma is one that you can catch in sun or moon, it doesn't matter. Um, there are some ultra beasts that you can only catch in sun and some you can only catch in moon, so be wary of that. Um, the met location, you have to make sure that it is the exact met location. So for Necrozma, it's 10 carat hill, furthest hollow. And for the ball that I caught it in, I caught it in a beast ball. At level 75 is where I met it, and then this is the met date, 2 2017 And then of course you do not check the Fateful Encounter or the Egg buttons, so leave those alone. For stats, you can make them whatever you want, uh, IVs whatever you want, EVs whatever you want. Um, you can give it a certain hidden power, you can give it hidden power fire, hidden power ice, whatever you want, doesn't matter. For attacks, again, make sure that these are actual attacks that this mon can actually learn in-game. Don't be given Necrozma like fucking Spatial Rend or some shit like that and expect it to work because it's not going to work. Um, for most legendary mons, you don't have to worry about the relearn moves because there are none. Um, <clears throat> I think the event mons do have relearn moves, but you don't have to obviously worry about that since this is a non-event mon. Um, for the OT and Miscellaneous, just put your OT and SID, your trainer name. And then everything else you can leave however you want it, really. Um, you just re-roll and re-roll again and check. And this mon is legitimate, so that's pretty much it. So again, really quick, the only real difference between a bread mon and a legendary is that you have to be sure that the met location and the met level, as well as the actual level of the mon, are accurate. And of course the the moves and stuff so that's literally the only difference legendaries are a little bit more of a pain just because you have to know exactly where they're from and the level that's literally it so if you enjoyed this video leave a like follow me on Facebook and Twitter links is always in the description below I'm gonna get out of here guys I love you peace out